Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we are in Davao City and this is the largest island in Manando and actually the third largest city in the Philippines. So we are so excited to be here. We actually had quite a few people recommend this place to us uh, last time we came here. So yeah, it's gonna be a good day. It is super hot today. I feel like it's just gotten hotter and hotter since we've been in the Philippines. Um, so we need a lot of energy today. So we're gonna start with the coffee. There's a cute little coffee shop that we've looked at online. We looked at the menu and the drinks look so good so we are gonna start with that it's called coffee cat it almost sounds like the copycat hey <laughs> I, I wonder if like that's what they were going for <laughs> kind of dark in here wow it's definitely super aesthetic yeah. it's really nice just like a couch and stuff good morning. Oh. Or good afternoon now all right this chocolate mousse cheesecake are you joking me it looks very good. That looks so good. Look at all these coffee options. We just got in a workout though, so we're gonna need to not get cheesecake to start the day, maybe later. Yeah, look at all the options there. What's a, uh, what are you stuff. gonna go for? You know what, I think I'm gonna try a sea salt latte. Sounds yeah, yeah. delicious. I love anything with salt in it, so. Does the white mocha come with coffee? Yes, sir. Can I get a white mocha, please? Uh, what's it normally like? What's get better? Uh, most people here is they order ice. Okay, I'll get ice then. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. What size or medium or large? Ah, uh, large, please. Large. Yes. Oh yeah, the double shot. <laughs> yeah. Double shot. <laughs> yes. Perfect. Anything else, sir? I I'm gonna do the sea salt latte. I think I'll try it iced. Yes. Size, uh, or um, I'll just do medium. Yeah. Yes, that's good for me. For your sugar, uh, sugar level. Ooh. Okay, so you get it's better for 25 or 50 percent. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'll go for the 50. <laughs> yeah. Yes. For your espresso shot, um, full or mild? Um, shot or just one shot, fine. Right. Yeah. Could you manage? Do some people get full sugar? Uh, if you choose full sugar, it's too sweet. Oh yeah. <laughs> I like that you you let us know that because yeah. typically I would order full sugar. But yeah, definitely we'll do half. Perfect. Ask for a first finger. Ah, uh, Chase. Yeah. And they have food too, so if you want to come in here and get food, check that out. An ubi grilled cheese. I was today, I was today years old when I figure out I think it's ube and not ubi. Please let me know in the comments because I heard somebody say ube today, not ubi. So I know, right? Oh wait, is it ubi or ube? Ube. Okay, okay. Been saying it completely wrong, obey. <laughs> Obey. We've been saying Ubi. Yeah. For bad pronunciation. Yeah. Total is 405 pesos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you oh. That's Thank awesome. You. Yay. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Man, look at these drinks. Ah. These are so sweet. And they, they also so good. came, like if you're going to a park or anything, they're like a separated bag yeah. for these cups. We had to show the bag because we've never seen that before. Literally like a two little cup holes. <laughs> How it's, cool is that? That's super cool because it would keep them like upright. There's no problems. Also, the receipt says our staff member there was Glenn. So Glenn. thank you for serving us, Glenn. Thanks, Glenn. There was another little girl too. Mine looks, these honestly look just as good as they did online. Mine looks like it has like a fun little foam on top. Yeah, yours as a medium was pretty much the same price as mine as a large. So I don't know if Maybe it has- Maybe mine's more, mine looks more fancy. Yours has, just looks has like- has a little special Yeah, piece. I got like foam on top. But I actually feel like because there's foam, I should take the straw out. Oh, okay. wow. Oh my God. So oh. I don't even know if he asked me about my sweetness level too. I think Glenn there just knows exactly what to give people. Like unless they want to like be specific about it. Cause I got a mild and it's perfectly sweet and just like so delicious. So it's like the mocha only gets the mild sweetness, yeah. but. The coffee flavor is strong. Oh my God. When I just licked that foam on top, you guys, it's so salty and good. It almost tastes like cheesy. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Perfect sweetness. Definitely don't think I could have got this any sweeter. Oh yeah, my gosh. 
the coffee flavor though. Oh, I don't know if you have that in yours, but oh, mine I is do. so strong. Oh, I do. That is like, that honestly could be one of the best coffees I've ever had. Like that salty foam on top, like you have to, you have yeah, to try that. You try this one. Because that is legendary. Mm. I don't know. I think mine's winning. <laughs> like, they're both so good. Mm. This is mild sweetness. This is like sweet. I know. I think it has something to do because obviously white chocolate is usually usually pretty sugary as it is. So I think that's where a lot of the sweetness is coming from. It's a white mocha. Yeah, I wouldn't call that mild sweet. That's very sweet, but that's like, per it's perfect. Like these drinks, oh, they're so bad. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, I'm so happy. Treats on. So happy with this. <laughs> Your hands are full. My hands are full I'll and take, I can't see. I'll take the camera now. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Wow. Okay. Well, this oh is God. this is a win for sure. It's so salty and sweet. I can't get over it. <laughs> mm. And and like chasing Shelby's fashion, I don't know where Shelby is, but I'm getting down there. You yeah, know, we just got a little drink. You know, with an ice drink, that even when it shows like halfway, you're you're more than halfway. I feel like though they put so much ice sometimes. That, that's why you drink it so fast, because there's not a lot of coffee in it, okay? That's yeah. my theory. Yeah. I just wanted to interrupt for a moment to talk about an insane travel tip. We found this out on our first trip to India where they made it almost impossible to get a SIM card. From them denying us at the airport because we didn't have printed passport photos, then to going to endless phone shops just to be told we don't have a local ID so they can't help us. This all could have been avoided if we just had Aerolo. Aerolo is an eSIM which makes traveling so much easier. No matter if you're going to one country or multiple places, they have the plan for you. They have plans for more than 200 countries and regions, keeping you connected wherever you go. Here's a perfect plan for Shelby and I, since we mostly travel Asia. Under regional eSIMs, here you can find plans for as little as $5, which covers 18 countries. Being able to travel all over these countries and be connected right once you land for this price almost feels too good to be true. They have multiple packages depending on how long you are traveling or your data needs. Aerolo has also made this process super simple. Before you travel, you can install the Aerolo app and have your package all ready to go so you can activate upon landing. If you're wondering, yeah, that all sounds good, but wondering what an eSIM is? Don't worry, I got you. An eSIM is a small chip embedded directly into a device, such as a smartphone or a smartwatch, which allows it to connect to cellular networks without a physical SIM card. This technology enables users to switch between mobile carriers and plans remotely without actually physically changing the SIM card. Click the link in the description or scan this QR code to get Aerolo today. And don't forget to use our code CNS3 so you can get $3 off your next eSIM purchase. Thank you Aerolo for sponsoring this video. I've taken off my lid because I feel like with this drink, you have to like sip the creamy, salty layer like with the coffee. You know what I mean? Like I feel like maybe this would be better hot. Mmm. No, it's probably good hot or ice. Honestly. Holy. <laughs> ah, hey. What are you ah, doing? Oh, I'm opening my mouth. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm showing my low levels of delicious drink. You can tell the difference though, yours is stronger. Put yours up to mine. Mine's oh, yeah. definitely lighter. Oh, you got yeah. some more coffee. Oh, you got a double shot, that's why. Mm. Mm. I think when you get the big size, you get double shot. All right. Hey, is this trash bins right here? Or what is this? Looks like we can put some stuff in here. I think I'm gonna finish up. Now that we've got our coffees, Chase and I passed this potato place. And the potato place you've, is everywhere. You've seen it everywhere. I've seen it everywhere. And I've told Chase about it because he loves fries. And I'm like, there's some <laughs> potato places everywhere. We're finally going to try it. And it Breakfast says, champions. right in front of us, it says always cooked fresh. Yeah, sweet, uh, sweet coffee and potatoes for breakfast. <laughs> potato corner, guys. Yes. If you know, you know. Yes. Flavor of the moment. Hello. We would like to have some fries, please. What do you want, a regular or a large? Mm. What size is this one? Mega. That's a mega? And then this, I can't see. That's the jumbo. jumbo. Maybe maybe we do mega because it looks like you can get two flavors. Yeah, I could do, yeah, sure. Yeah, can we get a mega, please? 
Thank you. Two flavors. I yeah. want cheese. Okay, cheese. And what flavor? What flavors do you guys have? Um, cheese, barbecue, sour cream, cheese, barbecue, sour cheese, barbecue. Do you have chili barbecue? Yeah. Okay, let's do chili barbecue, please. Yeah, I won't be on that side. <laughs> awesome. Hey, barbecue and me, we aren't friends. Well, it's chili barbecue. We'll try it out. I'll be on my cheese side. At least we have the best of both worlds, like cheese and chili barbecue. Look at they have the powders right there. I'm really excited to see if he actually cooks the fries fresh right now and does this uh, always fresh thing. Well, you know? Yeah? I would hope so. Yeah. You mean if it says always fresh? Better be. <laughs> so these babies are indeed cooked fresh to order. Uh, so they take a little bit of time, a little bit of love and care, and it's really cool how many sizes you can get. You can get literally six sizes. If you're feeling like a little peckish, a little mini, if you're feeling like you just want to go in and you're having a bad day, get the Terra. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say, I see that they have wasabi, but they don't have it. So yeah. I'm a little sad about that. I feel like wasabi would be so good. Uh, oh, no. We're still waiting over here. Yeah, that's <laughs> super cool. What is your favorite flavor? What's you like the barbecue? Yeah. Okay. Hey, that's good. We got spicy barbecue. Yeah, the chili barbecue. The chili barbecue. Is it hot? Is it hot in there for you? Are you hot? Like, is it so hot outside? It's okay. <laughs> I try, I try. Oh, it's hot here. Yeah, he only has a fan in there. No AC or anything in it. And he's right in front of a deep the fryer. Deep fryer. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I can imagine his answer is yes, if he understood. Yeah, he's probably hot in there. Chicken fries. Oh, yeah. Oh, yay. That's a good amount. Okay, wow. That's insane. This was all for 125 peso? Jeez. Yeah, like if you want something filling for coffee and fries, I'll tell you that much. I'm like already full off the coffee, so. <laughs> but we have lots of. We have Snacks a lot of stuff to do today. and things today. We want to go towards the market, and hey, I'm look, sure I they're gonna have food. I can go down to be on your height. Look at that. Jeez. Yeah. The comments all the time. How how, <laughs> how short are you? And I'm like, how tall is he? Is the question you should be asking. No, I wish we I could am, just. I get, wish we could just average out a little bit. I know. <laughs> I am really short, and he is really tall. So there is a there's a bit of a gradual change there. Oh. Gradual. Wrong word. I don't know. <laughs> I'm focused on the... Is he doing the fries right now? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, it definitely takes like, let's say start to finish, just under 10 minutes maybe. Love and care. That's yeah. what I'm telling you, love yeah. and care. <laughs> yeah, he's hot. I can see the sweating. <laughs> Is that one ours? Is that ours? We don't need the bag. It's okay. Yeah, yeah that's okay. perfect. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay. Have Thank a you. Good day. Awesome. Yeah, he is ready. Wow. All right, let's potato. Get to, let's get to the shade. Yeah, let's. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, I'll wait for that. <laughs> that's a cool little vehicle. Let's do it. All right. Well, jeepney looking thing. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's nice and shady over here, so we'll eat in the shade. Here we go. All right, sweetie. <laughs> Okay, so that looks like barbecue. <laughs> Let's spin it. I'll still try the barbecue back now. That's good, cheese. Cheese, please. Oh, Do you see this coating? They look so good, they're hot. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I never, you know I'm a McDonald's fry boy. McDonald's too. In, in Canada anyways. When you get them around the world, they're not the same, but oh this easily beats that. Oh, and the spice on the chili barbecue. Oh yeah. How much cheese go? The cheese is definitely the winner in this. Mm -hmm. Wow. Ooh -wee. But the, the spice, the spice is like insanely spicy. That is spicy. There is no shyness of coating. Like he coated it. Oh really? He put it in like a tub and make sure every fry gets loved. They're like greasy, but fresh. Oh, oh my God. 
Look, it's like perfect temperature. Okay, I think we're like 10 out of 10 for best coffee I've ever had and best fries I've ever had. Okay, Devao. <laughs> I'll see you. <laughs> I'll see you. I bet mixing it would be. Yeah, yeah, get two cheese and one barbecue. That'll be a perfect mixture. <laughs> Mm. Oh my. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. Okay. I'm not usually a fry gal either. Chase is the fry guy. Yeah. He always gets the fries in the restaurants. I get like the soup. I love soup, you know? I had the jackpot. Look at that. Look at that one. That's insane. And it's stuck on it. All right. Let's oh. eat and roll, baby. <laughs> mm. Wow. Let's do this thing. Let's uh, go around the corner and try and get off this busy street. I'm sure it's a little uh, little loud for you guys. I will say, the barbecue is warming up too. <laughs> it's nice to have the switch. Well, I really like the switch of like, you have two different fries. Over in Canada, the barbecue is like, boom, it's barbecue, but here, and it's, these fries, it's more it's spicy. Like yeah, yeah, it's more spice than, yeah. than barbecue. Get the guys is back on. All right. Well, Davao, great day ahead. The Philippines, they're the winner. World's best fries right here. We have not had better fries. World, we keep talking about it. World's best fries. We can't stop talking about the fries. We've been talking about fries for the last five minutes. It's it's like really exciting and slightly upsetting because we leave. We leave. We leave soon. And uh, we just found about these fries. I have been told, I told Chase to try these things probably for years. I bet you even in, because I know he loves fries. And this is the first time you've found Mis them. Mistakes were made. But now we have things to look forward to when we come and visit the Philippines again. Mm. Friendly locals, delicious fries, and much more. Okay guys, I have had many different bags while traveling. This is literally not sponsored. I told Chase, I was like, I have to mention my bag because I've been <laughs> loving it. Chase's mom got me this for Christmas. The brand is Boston 10. <laughs> B-O-S-T-A-N-T-E-N. -E and uh, she got it off Amazon. It's the cream one. It is amazing. It's so tiny. It's so compact. It fits my phone. It has so many different compartments. It feels good. It looks good with everything. Not sponsored. You need this bag in your life. I love it. <laughs> looks like we have some umbrellas, colorful umbrellas. That always means something, right? It means food. <laughs> it usually means food. I see the colorful umbrellas and I'm like, yep, there's food under there. Pomelos. It's just like a stack of pomelos. And I think that says 60 per kilogram. And I'm gonna say pomelos are usually expensive. I think that's a really good price. I wonder why they're so uh, affordable here. It just, kinda, it just feels really like local. Um, I don't think it's gonna be tourists come here as well. Obviously it's not as busy as like Boracay or Makati <laughs> or you know, like not everyone's in Davao. Yeah. Uh, so that, like, you'll probably definitely find like better prices here. There's tons of carnerias. Love those. So if you want to try the local eats, definitely try the carnerias. We have not been sick. We've ate them all month. So <laughs> rest assured, you're probably fine. Or we just have really strong guts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry if you get sick. <laughs> After years of traveling, it's always funny too because when we go to a new country, sometimes they don't really realize, and like they think that. It's our first time traveling to a country. So they're like, watch out, don't eat the street food. Like your guts aren't accustomed to it. And it's just like a little giggle goes internally. You're like, it's kind of what I, what I survive off of. Well, it's surprising to me how many people tell you not to eat street food. I'm like, I thrive. <laughs> yeah, I know. Street food. It is the best. Like, it, it's the best. Like, honestly, that's how, you, that's how you get to try most of the local food that I find. It's one of the biggest things that like traveling to countries being able to experience the local cuisine right off the streets. Like little grandma's making you chip pork adobo right there. Love and care. Yeah, it's just, it's absolutely yeah, amazing. It's a way to support local too. See, I'm gonna yeah. down People are gonna think I'm even shorter than I am. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've been walking and the snacks have not ended clearly. Uh, yeah. We see what we think. I think it's banana turon, I'm gonna ask. Cause it looks so good and crispy. <laughs> Do you have banana uh, turon? Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay, oh. how much? Can you press only? Okay, well, take one, please. Take one. Thank you. Sweet. Oh, awesome. Thank you. See what we got here. 10 pesos. Awesome. What country you came from, sir? Canada. Canada. Welcome to the Philippines. Oh, thank so you. I would shake your hand, but I'm full. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Do you, um, do you make this yourself? You make? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. And it's, um, what's all... like? Oh, it's uh, sweet. Uh, 
it's a fruit, uh, jackfruit. Jackfruit. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Awesome. Thank so you. there's jackfruit in here. Okay, cool. Jackfruit. Have a good day. Have a good day. <laughs> Pretty sure it's supposed to be banana, but we got jackfruit. <laughs> I was like, do you have banana tron? Yeah, wow, look, jackfruit. Look at that crystallized sugar. Yeah, that oh, looks goodness. good. Oh, hot. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you gotta hit the first bite. <laughs> <laughs> it was like sliding down, hard to bite. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh. oh, wow. Goodness. Oh, that guy's and the jackfruit inside. That crisp, crystallized sugar outside is insane. I have to agree. I just got the, the pastry and the sugar. Holy, like, I could just have that. Like, look at right there. It is so thick. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very good. <laughs> Here, sweetie. Yeah, I just want to take this off. Yeah. Yeah, that's easier. <laughs> so we did it get banana. Yeah. Mm. Maybe he was saying that he also has jackfruit. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, that's cool. Wow. That is so good. That pastry, like, mmm. Mm. Well, I know some funny guys. I'm gonna take this little twig, and there's a barbecue pan right over here. Oh, yeah, perfect spot. Banana tron, wow. <laughs> Man, there's a lot of firsts happening today. There's a lot of firsts. <laughs> it's stuck in my retainer. <laughs> what? Wow. Let's do this thing. That's incredible. So good. Mm. Thank you. Bye bye. Here we go. It's all up on my teeth. Dude, that's freaking good. <laughs> I can't believe it. This is amazing. Everything we had today has been excellent. It's a pretty hard banana, like the texture. It, it's kind mm. of like a plantain kind of uh, banana. You know what I like about it though? Mm. Sometimes those little bananas are sour. That one's not sour. Yeah. It was just like really good banana flavor, mm -hmm. which I don't really love like the really sour ones. Yeah. I'm gonna fix my teeth now. <laughs> I got all of my teeth. <laughs> mm. So this building that we're walking beside is so nice. I love the colors with the orange and the like bright turquoise blue. Yeah. Something I've noticed as we've been walking on the streets is it's very clean. It like is. it's very, very upkept. Yeah. And it just feels like, it just feels good. It feels super safe. Loving it so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's like street food galore. Honestly, everywhere we walk, we're having a really hard time we not getting start everything. start picking and choosing. Yeah, I know. I'm yeah. like, I'm actually like, I feel pretty good. So I'm like, I think I gotta take a little break. But this um, park that we're going to is really cool. Apparently it has like sculptures and stuff, you said? Yeah, People's Park. And I didn't know that uh, Davao is the durian capital of, was it the Philippines? I believe so, yes. So. <laughs> if, if we stumble upon that in one of these videos. Yeah, Chase is like, we should try durian. And I'm like, oh, we could not. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think it's a very acquired taste. Yeah. Like, even if we got a really, really good one, I think it, it just is acquired, you know? We're not going out of our way, but if the opportunity presented it's so. kind of like beans you know when i first got to asia i was like beans and dessert mm. now i'm like oh beans and dessert yeah 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 it grows on you coming up to an intersection yeah we gotta go straight straight across <laughs> might as well get on the other side so we can go straight oh yes crossing has been really easy here too crossing the streets the drivers have been super great i don't feel like anyone has tried to <laughs> run me over. <laughs> you know, I will say the one place that the crossing's the hardest for me is Vietnam. I am scared to cross the roads in Vietnam. But somebody recommended something and they said, just cross the streets and they'll flow around you like water. So I'm gonna keep that in mind next time we go. Cause I don't know, even though you just walk and they go around you, it still freaks me out, right? So guys, I just pressed the button to cross this street and we're going that way. They put the little freaking pedestrian thing crossing this way. <laughs> hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, it's the wrong way. <laughs> oh, no, that's interesting. Yeah. Whoops. Someone, someone was working a little too quick. A little bit of honking. I bet you just gotta be really patient going through these intersections as a vehicle. We've been waiting quite a while and we're deciding to pull effort mode and just go for it. People are just going. Yeah. So it's time to just uh, freaking go for it. That cab is in a weird, weird spot. All right. <laughs> oh, the bikes are even stopping. How nice. Oh, wow, that was uh, now? Just, just like Shelby said, uh, that was a prime example of how yeah. easy it was to cross they were, there. They were so chill. <laughs> So Shelby's pointing out something right now across the street. Sign looks a little old, but look at this. It says massage between a certain time, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. probably when they don't get massages. It's 100 an hour. That's freaking cheap. I, uh, that's crazy. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Do you want to go see what the prices are? I guess we would just be teasing them though. Yeah. No, we're, we're not going for a massage, but my goodness, guys, that's insane to see that. I think we're at People's Park. Okay, not, not all around here. This one's 200 pesos for an hour. Um, guys, come here for the massages, I guess. Yeah. Shelby and I have gotten a few massages in Philippines, and they are 500. very amazing. And they're usually around 500, yeah. I actually think that my... Oh, I, tried to get over. I actually think my favorite place is I've got massages in the Philippines. Yeah, so look at that. Another place right around the People's Park. So there's a male and female. That's crazy. <laughs> Hello, how are you? How about you? Yes, You're not allowed uh, sunglasses? Uh, it's okay, in the No No drone? No drone. We left that back in Canada. <laughs> no worries. Have a good day, guys. Awesome. What? No, drone. So there's a lot of there's a lot of rules here for the thing, but the the boys there are really nice. <laughs> I literally just thought that you said drugs. I thought that you said no drones, and I thought he said drugs. And then she's just like, no, we left that back in Canada. And I'm like, can you just tell them we left drugs back in Canada? Ah, <laughs> oh, sure. Oh, that stressed me out. Okay. Look at this grand entrance. There's the durian. The durian? Yeah, it's the durian. The pods. Oh my goodness! I was missed with uh, seeing the bird thing. That's cool. And then they even have like durian right there too. Wow. They're really present representing. Cool. Should I be eagle? There's some um, somewhere you can go here too. It's a bit outside the city. We won't have time, but you can go to like an eagle sanctuary. There's also a crocodile. I don't know if it's a crocodile sanctuary or a crocodile farm. Yeah. I would look into it if it's anything to do with like them not being happy or like farm or anything like that. I would omit personally myself, but your choice. Uh, there's the eagle. And some people riding. I guess they're right in the nest. I was like, they're not riding. <laughs> so supposedly the eagles here hunt monkeys. So they're that big to be able to uh, have monkeys as prey, okay. which is absolutely insane. Well, if you think about it, like in um, Canada, my mom used to have small dogs. And well, I mean, a lot of people have small dogs, like little chihuahuas. And you would have to watch because eagles would be around and you watch your dog because they will pick up your little dog. Yeah, but it's not its not as impressive, man. Like a monkey? Vicious. How big of a monkey? Little freaking chihuahua? <laughs> Monkeys can be quite small, but I don't know if they're picking up like big old... I just mean tooth and nail, a monkey is evil. Like you just evil. Eagle, like a gorilla. I Whoa. know, I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying like, I don't, I'm not too worried about a little ankle biter, but my goodness, a monkey, I feel like it would put up a good fight. Not ankle biters. <laughs> we're cute. Please do not feed the stray cats. Aw. Oh, this is nice because it's really shaded in here. Yeah. It gets really shaded. There's lots of trees. You can come here. They're eating with the ladies. When I had to go through my like uh, female one, yeah. I was like, are you eating banana turan? <laughs> we just have one of those. Yeah. And they're like, oh yeah, we are, that's good. <laughs> I saw them and it looked like it. So where are all these stray cats that we're not supposed to feed? We're not feeding them so they're not here. <laughs> 
Why do you think they're hanging around? I know, right? They're at the restaurants. Okay, wow, they're really nice updated park for the kids to play in. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. You bring your family here, you let your kid run around for a few hours so they go to sleep. Oh, by the way, the fee to get in here is free. Free to enjoy the park. So that's really cool too. Cause like this almost feels like with how beautiful that part uh, that is, it seems like they would need some money to update it. But I almost thought because they had like two entrances, yeah. like, I almost thought there was gonna be like a yeah. fee. Sometimes in the Philippines, there's like lots of fees for different things, like environmental fees, uh, especially when you go on the islands. Yeah, the fees. boats. There was a garbage one for uh, Shargo. Yeah, so it just kind of keeps things like updated. And yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. That. Like, pays the workers, it's your taxes. <laughs> They're visiting the country. <laughs> I've spotted some men in the forest. I'm gonna go take a look. You see? <laughs> Head sculptures. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a saying, I think. Life is here. That's the oh. saying of Davao. Oh, that's nice. Life is here. I like that. This it's... park is beautiful. Yeah, I feel, honestly, feel so good just walking in the wind, in the shade. It feels like good. You can recharge. Yeah. If you've been walking on the hot streets like we have. I we think... try, um, we try not to talk about the heat too much because it's just kind of like, it's just, <laughs> it a, it's a is, repeated yeah. thing. It's hot yeah. here, whatever. But today I feel like it's an exception because it's really hot and I'm just like... When you're in the big cities, it almost feels like it emanates off the buildings and the asphalt. Yeah. So here, it's a little bit more like open oh, and you breezy. Can see. Oh. oh, look at this over here. Nice gust of wind. Oh, Ooh, it's like a big rock wall. Oh, go climb it. <laughs> is, it is it a waterfall? It almost looks like there's a pond water. or something. Oh, it's cool. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, it I've, seems like they usually have some stuff going on. I see a reflection of water. I bet you there's water in here. But it's low. Oh, it's yeah, it's a little. <laughs> Alright, it's a little dodgy. <laughs> chip bag there. Yeah. For the most part, really clean, but somebody threw their chip bag down there, I think. Wow, oh, that's how, cool. How dare they? Right on. Yeah. We will finish the loop. Lots of um, people here are wearing the same shirts. Have you seen that? Mm -hmm. Like almost like they're with like a volunteer or school or. C W T S. Yeah, I wonder. <laughs> it's a uh, what is it? A Monday or Tuesday? It's a Monday, I think. Yeah, it's a it's a Mon No, it's a Tuesday. So Tuesday, you know how, want to know how I know that? Oh. Because I didn't work out yesterday and I was disappointed with myself. <laughs> well, that's I a, always try to get in a workout a on a Monday. That's a weird way to, to know the day. Yeah. Okay. That's like a rock climbing wall hang <gasps> thing right oh, there. Oh, heck yes. That's a workout station. Get up in that. That's you got to try it. That's cool. Why did we go to the gym today? It was 100 pesos at our gym. Uh, gym. Oh, look at these guys. Oh, that's so cool. It's kind of slanted, like where you kind of go <laughs> into the wall, but like if you just... Is this a workout? workout? Yeah. Is this like yes. a... Oh, okay. So you're working out right now? Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, so cool. You got to do I the... I can't do very long on there. Do you, do you just hang on there? You just hang? Yeah. And oh. you do some pull-ups. Okay. Pull Show us what you got. Just kidding. No, <laughs> I wonder if I he could. Much less of a tank. <laughs> I know we went to the gym earlier today. Probably not as hard as this, but. <laughs> well, that's really hard to go hanging on that wall. Try to grab the. Those rings are insanely hard. Are they? Yeah. Do some pull ups on the rings. Um, those, like, the, there's like that cross thing that people do. You could, pull, you could do a pull up. I have faith. Yeah. <laughs> How high are you supposed to do it? That's good. I don't know. I'm sure that's fine. <laughs> that's pretty, I can do that, so. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Show off. No, that's hard. <laughs> awesome. Well, Not bad, that. eh? <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Cool. Goodness. Wonderful. That's yeah, cool. you have to be uh, 13 or above to use it. And what is it? Okay, so you can just use it. Yeah. 
That's really cool. A nice little calisthenics park. Train at your own risk. That is so cool. Yeah. I really want to see that. <laughs> you just pretend like you're, you know. <laughs> Chill. <Chilling. laughs> <laughs> 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 we'll see a professional. I know. I want to see. I'm just enjoying the view. Wow, it's such a nice thing. Yeah, cool. Oh yeah, he's just doing pull ups. Wicked. Oh, I wonder if I could do that. Can you can can you do that? Yes, yeah, I can do that. You can? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I wonder if I could try. Yeah, go for can it. Can I try? It's okay. pretty pretty tall. Oh, do you think it'll be too tall for me? Oh no, you can keep it soft, keep it soft. <laughs> oh, you're talking that thing for the tricep dips? Yeah. You could do it outwards, Shelves. What? The other way. Just oh, like okay. so you yeah, there you go. Yeah, that might work better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> a little deeper. Oh. Right there. Perfect. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Here's your first. Thank you. Okay, I feel like I got one. <laughs> yeah, you got one I really got good. One, one and a half. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, this park is definitely, it's really maintained. And they have a lot of cool things in here. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going for the pull up there. I was like, oh boy. Oh, I can't do a pull up to save my life. <laughs> no, I could never do a pull up. So it opens up really nicely here with a bunch of seating. They have this really cool bridge. I'm just, just contemplating my life. I'm like, wow, that looks hot up there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. We'll call it the death bridge today. The scorcher. This is the second workout, honestly, today. It's the we can get a nice bird's eye view of this. Like right here is really cool. Yeah. It's all shaded with the trees and they're perfectly placed in a grid pattern. They're perfectly groomed and hedged. Oh yeah. Going back to India on that one. <laughs> I can't even remember what you said. <laughs> Tight? Tightly groomed. Tightly groomed. Tightly groomed. <laughs> I'll never live that down. I told his mom that everyone. He's like, oh man, those hedges are just tightly groomed. And I was like, what? <laughs> Tightly groomed. Well, there's something about this. Like, look at this. Perfectly placed. Each square is the equidistant around this to give it like a perfect shade covering. I don't know. Something nice about that. It's just kind of like one of those OCD things. You're like, perfect. Okay, guys, we have been sitting in the shade for a while now. It's been so nice at this park, but we're going to end the video there and we're going to head to a market next. So make sure to stay tuned for the next video and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.